what's going on everybody welcome back to a, another video today we're back at it again with another rogue energy review courtesy of our sponsor rogueenergy.com and before we get on to the review just want to let you guys know they have a new shaker out it's called the outlaw i believe it is another one of their 25 ounce shakers this one is a semi clear semi white shaker and it's pretty cool and it's back and you can get it in just a regular shaper shaker and a starter kit which is pretty nice well today we're back taste testing some more flavors today we're going to be trying some cherry limeade now this flavor was a killer in the summers when i was younger but it was when i was younger we got it in the crystal light stuff and when you mix that and if you spilt it on carpets and stuff, that was not coming out. So, I remember a time when I was about 10 years old. I was watching cartoons. I was very invested. And I don't even know what happened. Something jump scared me. I spilt my juice all over the carpet. And I tried to hide it by putting a blanket over it. Yeah. And then my mom came home. And then she was mad. But anyways, hopefully this doesn't bring back memories of that. But we're just going to be trying it, whatever. Before I pour this, should you guys read the ingredients? In case you're sensitive to any... If this thing will focus, not in my face. In case you guys are sensitive to any ingredients, which I don't think there's any that anyone would be, but if you're, I don't know, sensitive to random stuff. Get this right next to the mic. Got some fresh ice in there, some fresh water, 16 ounces. Nice Terry ASMR. It's nice, isn't it? Oh boy. <laughs> Memories are coming back. <laughs> it smells just like the crystal light stuff, which is weird. A lot of these flavors smell just like the uh, powdered drinks that I used to have when I was younger. Because uh, when I was younger, uh, we didn't have a lot of like big juice things because my mom was like, I'm not going to be buying a bunch of giant containers of juices and stuff for you kids to be hopped up on. So she just bought a bunch of Crystal Light things because I didn't have a lot of sugar. And if you guys know me, and if a lot of my friends watching this know me in person, if I have a lot of sugar, I can get rowdy. <laughs> so it's a good thing. This has zero sugar in here. So that's nice. If you guys see, this has zero sugar. So that's a plus side. But it also has caffeine. So that's fun, I guess. I'm live streaming right after this, and I felt tired all day. I just now got some energy back. So, this should help a little bit and get powder all over my setup. Yay! Remember, one pack does equal one serving. So, you guys don't have to worry about any measurements when you do packs. That's why I personally like packs. The whole tub thing of, like, getting your scooper and, like, leveling it. And sometimes the powder can become compact, so the servings are, aren't always, like, accurate. I like the packets, you know, they're each measured for you, so all you have to do is tear it open. It's a little wasteful with the packet things, but I feel like the measurements are fine. So, we are going to start shaking this up. Remember when you're shaking this stuff to uh, hit the bottom of it? Break up some of that powder down there, because a lot of that powder uh, comes together, gets heavy. And you really want it to not stick to the bottom, just mix into the water. And maybe two minutes, it was a little too long to shake it, so I had to shake it for about a minute. Or until I can't shake it because the froth is too much on the top. Like if you if you can hear, not as much movement anymore. That's about, about as much as I, I'll shake it and then I'll leave it there to settle for a little bit. Because with Kiwi Strawberry, I shook it for a long time gave it no time to settle i just unscrewed the top because this top part was a little tough unscrewed the top flooded out the side on all, all over my desk all over me my clothes it's a good thing kiwi strawberry smelled really good <laughs> or else i would have been a lot more mad these don't spill on my setup oh just at the brim with foam and froth smells nice um Definitely smell more lime this time. With the packets, you'll definitely smell more cherry. Uh, I don't know, something about cherry it powders really easily, and the smell just comes through, but definitely smelling the citrus. That, li that lime's 
really coming through. You know what they need to make? They need to make a lemon lime flavor. Because that stuff, that stuff slaps. That is delicious. I have this G Fuel lemon lime. That's good. But if they made a rogue lemon lime with like a little more caffeine, because G Fuel only has a little bit, rogue has like a lot. So if they had made a G Fuel lemon lime, or not G Fuel, they made a rogue energy lemon lime, that'd be dope. Yeah, you can definitely smell more of the lime. It smells like uh, how old Skittles used to <laughs> used to take taste. Cause if you know, if you guys know the new Skittles, they are green apple, but they used to be lime. No, it smells like the lime popsicles. Like if you if you guys ever had a green popsicle like on the stick, those are always the lime ones. Those are like one of the best ones, other than blue. It smells like that. That is a liquid popsicle. Not tasting much of the cherry. There's a little bit. That's where that sweetness comes in. You get the cherry, but it's mainly lime. It's like drinking uh, limeade, which makes sense. I'm guessing it's supposed to be uh, prominently lime. But there's a little hint of cherry. That's what brings it uh, its sweetness and its tartness, and it pairs really well with the lime because that brings in that tanginess and the sour. My only thing would be to make it a little bit more sour, make that lime flavor uh, feel really believable, up that citrus just a little bit, but other than that, this flavor is spot on. It's a very sweet flavor. You get a little bit of the sour. It's a little bit of bite uh, right on like, the front of your palate, or maybe it's just me. Get a little bit of the sour that dissipates in about two, three seconds. But the rest of the flavor stays. It's one of those flavors that stays there. That's why I like grape. You know, it stays there. This is a little less smooth, but I feel like that's fine if you're having a limeade because it's supposed to be like citrus and cold. It's supposed to, you know, I don't, I don't know. It's something about lemonades and limeades and stuff. I think it's because like it's meant to be like a summer flavor. It's supposed to be like extra cold, extra whatever. Oh, it's supposed to refresh. Refreshing. That's why it's supposed to be that. Huh, it's like a fast thing. Words are fun. Other than that, it's pretty good. You guys should definitely try this. And a lucky one of you guys will be able to try this and the rest of the nine flavors that I come out with. If you guys go head over to my Twitch channel, twitch.tv backslash cryptic vision and follow me if i get to 50 followers i'm going to be giving away a rogue energy starter kit thanks to our sponsor rogueenergy.com and you can get your choice of shaker these are some examples of the two ones this is their dark knight shaker this is their fire shaker but if you guys enter my giveaway you can have your choice of shaker plus all the flavors that you see me in these videos but i'm definitely going to give this flavor a 10 out of 10. I know. Uh, did I give grape a 10 out of 10? I feel like it did. Grape was really good. But this, this is probably one of the best ones that they have. Other than grape. Grape was definitely my favorite. Watermelon's a close second. But I think this took watermelon. This was so good. <laughs> I'm so glad that they made a flavor of this. And this was their, this is their newest flavor that they have, by the way. Um, I don't know if they're making a new, a new one. I think a uh, new flavor is in the works. But... This was an amazing flavor. You guys should definitely pick up a packet or a tub of it. And that's the thing. Before I leave you guys, uh, if you guys are trying Rogue Energy for the first time, please get a starter kit. Please get a uh, packet. Don't start off with a tub. Because if you buy a flavor and you don't like the flavor, you're going to be stuck with it for 30 servings. And you really don't want that. If I would have bought a tub of Rogueberry, per se, that would be stuck on my shelf for a while. And I just would be a waste of money. By the way, I'm not saying Rogueberry is horrible. Personally, I just don't like it. It's not my favorite. I've met many people that do like it. It's just not my favorite thing. So, whatever. So, that's basically it for today's video. Head over to my Twitch channel. Sub to me here. Drop a like if you really enjoyed it. I just hit the mic. Sorry, that's right by your ears. 
uh, energy is starting to kick in. I'm streaming right after this video, and I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I stream Call of Duty, Apex, and Fortnite. I don't know why I did this. I'm going to have to put overlays on the screen now. Yay. But that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Peace.